Well, my husband and I started fostering when I was, I was actually the youngest foster mom in Waukesha County. We started out with teen girls. And so we had the journey of working with the teen girls and teen moms. And then they had a placement of a nine and 10, almost 10 and 11 year old um, that they asked us to take for only three weeks. And um, the three weeks turned into forever. So we had two biological children at that time. And then we ended up adopting the two, they were siblings. And then we had two more biological children. And then um, we raised, kind of raised that group. Our daughter had some struggles, especially with the whole adoption thing. Um, so there were some rough times when she was a teenager trying to get her through that. And then we have since then adopted eight more children, all through foster care in Wisconsin. And they range in age from uh, eight to almost 40 um, to enjoy the moments and not get wrapped up in things. It's a different kind of love. We have another son who has pretty significant disabilities. You expect your children to meet certain goals. When you have a child that has pretty significant delays, you're grateful when it happens. So I think that's kind of changed our mindset, the way we look at people is to be grateful for who they are. When people ask me how many children I have, if I'm just out, I'm very uncomfortable saying that we have 14 kids because then people, oh, you're an angel, oh, you know, you, look what you've done. No, we're just regular people who happen to love our kids and have been very blessed with these wonderful children in our lives. And it's not something that people should go out and say, I'm going to have 14 kids. <laughs> you know, there's, there's challenges and it's a lot of work. To me, it's worth it, but I, I'm also very uncomfortable with that because it's, I think in a way it tells my children that they're less worthy, that it's us and it's not them. And they're the ones ultimately that are changing their lives. We're there to support them. I, I think for me, it's just, it's been a wonderful journey. It's not the journey I chose to take. It's not, we didn't set, we thought we'd have a big family. We thought we'd have maybe five, maybe six kids. Um, never dreamed we'd be where we're at. Um, and that no matter who does it as, your, as a family, that you're careful that you're meeting the kids' needs, you know, your children's needs, not just adding because it's a number, but that it works for everybody, being very careful on how you build your family and fostering and understanding that those adolescent years will be challenges with any family, <laughs> um, but a little extra layer on there when they're adopted. So um, just understanding that and embracing that um, for me is a big piece. To see what my children have accomplished and what they have done is truly amazing. I mean, there's been some times that I've seen them. One of our sons came to us and he had um, cerebral palsy, a uh, mild case, but he couldn't, he was three and a half. He couldn't talk. He couldn't walk across the room without falling down. He's now a strapping 16 and a half year old young man who's playing football, running in track, um, can beat his dad in, tra in, in uh, races, which his dad didn't anticipate. But to see how they've done is truly amazing. And, and the kids are what keep us going.